Now, what if we want to render the same file into a Beamer presentation file? So what we're going to do? Actually, we're going to do the same steps. Go to the CMD command prompt. Again, type R markdown. So the same art uh, test file. But what we're going to do now is to replace this with a Beamer presentation. Okay, Beamer presentation. Hit enter. And as you can see here, you will notice a lag time. It's because if this is the first time you are rendering Beamer in your system, R will recognize that your tech distribution lacks a very important package, LaTeX package specifically, to render Beamer. And that is Beamer and the corresponding packages needed. So in this case, we have successfully updated our tiny tech distribution, our tech distribution, with the Beamer package being included and other packages required to render the Beamer file. And as you can see here, rendering is successful. The Beamer file is being named as a test file that PDF. By the way, a Beamer presentation is essentially a, B a PDF, but in a presentation format. So going back to our working directory, now sadly, the, the file, the original test underscore file that PDF is being overwritten. So we need to change this into a different file name. So later I'm going to show you, but let's just first look at the Beamer presentation. So we have the same R markdown file rendered in a Beamer presentation. You might have already observed or noticed the margins, no? the missing portions of the document because we haven't yet formatted the R markdown file in order for it to be beautifully rendered in a Beamer presentation. Later, we will discuss the details about this. We are just trying to demonstrate how a single R markdown file is being rendered to different formats. Okay, so that's how we are going to render a Beamer presentation.